Hello, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to the weekly to the weekly meeting with this webinar. Um, today, uh, we will be talking about some more applications of delta volume. Uh, so it will be a natural uh, like going on what we were saying telling last time. Uh, please. Uh, just take a look at our disclaimer. So basically the material provided is for information purposes only and should not, should not be considered as investment advice. Uh, uh, let me just quickly remind you before we get started, uh, the promotion on uh, by volumetrical trading in collaboration with Tickmill, uh, which basically allows you to uh, get a special price for uh, Boltsys platform for those who are Tickmill customers already. Uh, of course, terms and conditions apply. Uh, and uh, for those of you who are not yet uh, Tickmill customers already, you can still request a uh, a free trial of the Volsys platform, uh, getting in touch with Volumetrica trading team at the Volumetrica trading website by just uh, filling this form. Okay, so you can still request uh, a demo of the platform. Okay. Great. So uh, another quick reminder, of course, uh, let me just show you my contact just in case you want to make me some questions about the topics uh, discussed during the webinars. Uh, I am one of the uh, official, uh, official um, trainer at Volumetrica Trading. This is my email address. If you want to ask some questions, just feel free, just feel free to email me. Uh, so let's get started with the topic of today. And today we will be talking about a, a very nice tool uh, provided by uh, Volumetrica Trading, and uh, which is a, an additional plugin of the Volsys platform, which, which is called the Vol Analyzer plugin. Uh, what this what this tool is for, actually. Uh, it is something that uh, helps us reading the delta. So last time we are talking about uh, what the uh, delta as a concept is, what it does express in terms of uh, volume analysis. Uh, this tool it is something that helps us uh, reading the delta, the ongoing delta, uh, along with the market trading. So. Uh, according to some informations provided by these indicators, uh, we can uh, use it as confirmation for our uh, for our analysis, and in some cases, it can still uh, work as a decisional uh, tool. So it helps us, according to some information we will be talking about today, uh, making decisions in terms of uh, intraday and uh, volume trading in general. Uh, so let me just quickly introduce this tool uh, and its main functions, because it is divided into two main sections. Uh, which actually uh, those sections are expressed into different indicators. Uh, let's get let's start from this chart, which is the uh, the main chart we were looking at uh, over the last two times, over the last two webinars. Uh, if we open by right clicking here on the chart the uh, option indicators, uh, we have vol swing indicator which is actually the first part of the vol analyzer uh, tool uh, what is this indicator for it is actually the indicator you can see here at the bottom part of my screen this one okay as you can see we have some histograms okay uh, each histogram has basically uh, some color inside and 
uh, it shows, all, of course, the uh, some informations over the uh, time axis. Okay. So, uh, what does is what does it actually show us in terms of volume informations? It shows us, first of all, the, vo the total volume, the total volume in terms of swing, okay? It's, it, it all starts from another indicator, another native indicator, which is the, uh, the zigzag. Let me just quickly show you, uh, because I've just made here uh, uh, I've decided not to have it shown on the chart. Here it is. Okay. As you can see, every swing we see here on the chart, it is tracked by a plain, ordinary uh, zigzag indicator, which is a built-in tool in the, in the whole swing indicator. Uh, basically, what this uh, zigzag does is uh identifying a swing high and a swing low okay and what happens when a swing high or a swing low is identified uh the indicator takes uh takes tracks basically all of the amount of delta and total volume traded from a specific swing a low to a specific swing high. So, uh, in this sense, we have some uh, available information according related to that swing. So, what the indicator does is basically showing here on the uh, building an histogram uh, the height of the histogram shows the total volume uh, exchanged during during that swing over that within that swing and as you can see there is uh, this rectangle is filled with a with a with a green uh, color here for this example this color would express the delta value related to that to that swing Okay, of course, if the uh, the color inside the rectangle is green, that would mean that within that swing, the majority of uh, the delta traded is, uh, of course, a buying delta. There is a dominant delta within that swing. Of course, the... Uh, the height of the of the color here within the indicator shows the relation of that delta compared to the um, to the total volume let's make an example let's assume total volume for this swing and of course you can easily uh, check any any of these rectangle which swings referred to because you can easily project the, uh, the sides of the rectangle to the chart. And as you can see, it would exactly correspond to the swing high and swing low. So basically the, the top eight, the, the, the two, eight, both edges of the swing. And um, of course, so you would know already that this rectangle refers to this swing. Uh, let's assume in this wing we have a total volume of 10,000 lots traded, okay? So it would measure here, you can see on the, uh, on the Y axis, it would express a specific volume. Like here, we have 21,000 not really not that much actually let me let me be accurate Twenty thousand seven hundred ninety-six lots trading over the swing 
okay you can easily read the volume of the y-axis at the, the side uh, why only a small part well not actually such a small part but not why not is not the entire rectangle filled in with the green color because uh, of course delta has to be less than the total volume total volume as we were saying at the last webinar would express the total volume exchanges so it doesn't matter where if it, whether it's a spying or a solid volume delta of course it is the, the difference between aggressive buying and aggressive selling over referred to that entire swing. So, of course, uh, the, uh, the, amount, the amount of the uh, area of the, of the rectangle, which is filled with the green color, it shows how the delta is relevant or less re relevant in relation to the total volume exchange during that that that, that swing okay of course uh, that comes with two different representation because you can either have like like in this example of course if we have a strong green color then would mean of course we have an intense delta uh, value compared to the total volume of that swing if we have a uh, for example a lighter green like it happened here over this wing of course that would mean we have a lower delta value for that swing that would easily uh gives us a, a clue an idea uh of how powerful a, a specific swing is so of course, if we have a strong green color over a uh, over a upward swing, that of course would mean that over that swing we have had lots of delta, so lots of buying pressure. Okay, which of course uh, has given an influence to the to the total delta for that swing. Okay. Of course, what is very important with this, with this kind of representation is uh, the level where the swing has ended. Because, as you can see, do you remember what we were saying at our first uh, webinar about volume? Why is volume important? Volume shows us when it is actually, when price moves are actually accompanied by volume and delta so with my volume and then my power of that move so of course what we need to pay attention to is what happens next so here strong up move with quite strong delta so here uh delta and volume were actually accompanying price but what happened next price didn't follow through okay so we can use this information to track a change of behavior in terms of volume traded and specifically we can tell already by asking ourselves a question we had all of this volume here pushing the price higher why didn't the price actually move higher we can assume here there was a change of behavior. So, uh, for instance, where did all of those long traders go afterwards? All the flow analysis gives us two chances. They got, they, they got either absorbed, either they got exhausted. So basically, we have two main uh, possibilities in terms of volume exchange, and that that introduces us to the first two order flow uh, events. 
we will we will be talking about over the next two webinars, which are absorption of the flow event number one, and then exhaustion, which is the or the flow event number two. Basically, those two or the flow events, which are the main ones. Uh, in terms of change or changes of behavior in terms of volume. Uh, what's the difference between those two or the flow events? Normally, we tend to have absorption every time we, uh, we spot, like in this case, lots of volume pushing the price higher, but then price uh, doesn't move accordingly to the volume traded. So we can assume that all of that volume was somehow overcome by the opposite power so we can tell here there might be an absorption uh, of buyers by sellers because we can see lots of volume here which actually didn't didn't have a follow a proper follow through okay this inf uh, information is given at first at first place to this from this indicator to us and of course uh, that gives us the area when that at first happened so if we can spot this place as a potential a potential absorption area then what we can do is tracking this area as a potential reversal zone upon its pullback okay so this is a a, a very uh, easy but proficient way of using this indicator every time we see uh, a change of behavior in terms of market participant uh, so when volume was trading a certain way but price then didn't move accordingly to that way that way volume was trading that it would normally happen in a zone which needs to be validated afterwards but still it is a zone where something happened so it is a zone we need to uh, to keep to, to we need to attention afterwards okay uh, and of course of course what it didn't happen right here but what do we need to pay attention to if price after creating this area would eventually come back here here what do you want to see we want to see a buyer activity much lower than the previous buying activity on that level okay so basically what we need to see it is exhaustion the second or the flow event i was talking about a few minutes ago exhaustion is for some for some aspects something quite opposite than absorption during exhaustion we have not that much volume going on not that not that much power being uh, putting pressure into the market so unlike absorption where we have high volume not pushing price further during exhaustion we have just a lack of buyers in terms of uh selling exhaustion or otherwise a lack of sellers when we have a buyer buying exhaustion okay so ideally the easiest use we can make of it this indicator is putting the both events in sequence and uh, looking for uh, absorption at first and then getting a confirmation by with exhaustion uh, we can see some example uh, let me just go back here in the chart so we can uh, spot maybe something more uh, something easier uh, something easier to have a look at yeah, for example uh 
that was yeah that was the case uh let me just i'm just mm, let me just look for a better example uh, this is perfect this is perfect yeah as you can see we have here a few bullish swings okay and of course those are represented by the related rectangle showing those swing its volume and its delta okay we have of course over a downtrend we had the down, pr price moving in downtrend crossway price was moving higher but lower we had a retracement here this retracement was made on such a relevant volume relevant delta of course it wasn't that green but of course it was quite relevant in terms of delta as you can see price went on moving in the direction of its originary trend okay but with not that much of a volume than we had previously while price was moving lower so of course that means that pra uh, sellers vo uh, uh, by uh, sorry volume not really sellers volume in terms of total volume has run out has run out a little bit what we had when this previous uh, low was taken out was just a higher pressure you can see delta was much more powerful than in the previous swing low okay but volume watch was much more or less so that could indicate that actually uh looking for a breakout trading wasn't that that great idea because of course we want to we want to always see uh, for a continuation bigger volume and stronger delta both of them okay then what happens when price pulls back on the previous retracement with this kind of delta and this kind of volume there's still quite some buying power but it's we can, you can notice it's quite less than in the previous swing high so that would be ideally a confirmation that price is not that strong as we might have expe expected here at the bottom where maybe we, we could have used this information in terms of uh run out volume to maybe playing a fake out over the uh over the previous or the previous swing low because of course we see that volume is not really accompanying accompanying the uh the move but then but then we can see that the uh price cannot take out the previous swing high and it that all happens with reduced volume reduced delta okay this is a specific use uh we can make of this indicator uh to have uh to make um an additional an additional uh to have additional elements to conduct our volume analysis okay uh another another use we can do is uh spotting uh divergences volume divergences mm, to mm, to be even more accurate delta divergences uh you can see here we have a, sw a swing going downwards this one 
which of course would correspond to this rectangle of the vol analyzer okay so of course volume volume rectangle is plotted below the midline and it comes with green delta so that would mean that of course in this uh within this swing the majority of delta traded was a uh, buying delta but how is that possible considering it is a swing going down apparently within this swing the majority of pressure was in the buying side but still the price can still move lower in such situations because uh getting back to the to, to the concept we were uh, saying at the last webinar last week uh we it is quite uh normal we can have lots of buying pressure hitting the uh the ask side of the order book so uh lifting the offer basically but if there are more sell uh, more um, uh, passive sellers of of course price wouldn't move higher so in such situation we have delta divergences that means price moves downwards but with a positive delta this is of course, an, uh, an evidence of what? The price is moving downwards, but it encounters already some responsive buyers. So as, as price moves down, there are some, uh, some buying buyers entering the market, but they still can move price higher. That means that price is slowly building resistances as it moves down that might be a, uh, an early sign for buying but actually what the divergence uh, delta shows it's exactly the opposite because despite there are many uh, traders buying market can move i can't recover the previous lows and trade above it okay uh, so this is another another evidence this indicator can give us and then another very interesting function is given by the second part of the indicator it actually its main uh it's other it's other series of functionalities which is called um uh, I have plotted that function only in the trigger chart. So basically the one here in the, uh, I have in the, in the order flow chart, we will be talking about, uh, from next time on among indicators, there is of course, yeah, vol swing here as well, showing exactly the same things, but of course, based on a shorter shorter term zigzag so i have smaller swings to be uh, represented here in the, in the indicator the other indicator is the vol swing uh, sorry vol signal this one okay what is this indicator for actually it would give us it would read the order flow for us uh as a war as earlier i was talking about exhaustion absorption this indicator would just recognize this situation for us and would plot some uh, symbols here on the chart to help us, telling us, look at there, there is an absorption. Here, there is a pressure and so on. Let me just quickly introduce you all of these features. Uh, as you uh, notice, there are uh, two categories of arrows orange ones and yellow ones okay those both show uh, two different form of exhaustion 
the first, the yellow one, would show the slowdown. So basically, how can you read this information? For example, here, actually, I, I like this one more than the previous one. There is a NAP arrow. Since we know that the, the yellow color would show uh, a slowdown, it means that this is a bullish slowdown. That means that on a bullish bar, at the lower side of a bullish bar, sellers have slowed down. Okay, so they slowly stopped selling. And that's led the price to move higher and the bar to close as a bullish one. Something similar is represented by the orange arrow. The only difference is that we show on exhaustion. The difference between slowdown and exhaustion is that the uh, slowdown is something more uh, ap happening more gradually. Okay, exhaustion is just uh, buyer suddenly stopped buying or seller suddenly stopped selling okay of course the arrow on itself has to be put in the right context okay for instance uh, i i would definitely I, I i do actually i give great consideration to this bar to these arrows when uh, they come in conjunction with uh, some other informations on the order flow. Like, for example, can you see here, we will be talking uh, better about this uh, concept next time, but can you see here there were lots of, of red, but actually there was lots of red inside this candle, but actually the candle closed as a bullish one. I also have a confirmation of what is happening so that actually sellers are struggling to move the price lower. I have this confirmation given by also sellers stopping their selling activity. This is a strong, a very strong confirmation of uh, a possible uh, up move. Okay, so this is one of the function. Another function is giving, still given by the vol swing, the vol signal indicator, uh, indicating as pressure. You can see here there is a P marking this uh, this green line. That means over this level, as we have a buying pressure happening, taking place. Okay, we know it is a buying pressure because the line is green okay when we have a uh, selling pressure we would have let me just check if if there is one oh, sorry I'm just Uh, sorry, just all right. Uh, partly there, is, yeah, here it is. Uh, here we have a red line with still the P sign. That means here we had this, a selling pressure taking place. Okay, same things is for the absorption indicator, which is expressed not by a, a continuous line, but by a dotted line, a sorry, a dashed line, like this one. Uh, let me just 
Yeah, like this one. Here we have a dashed dream line with an A. That means A stands for absorption. Of course, the line is green because that means it is an absorption of buyers. So buyers were absorbed by sellers and that gives us uh, the reading of this dynamic which happened over three bars. So that means the line shows here because the last three bars uh, as ex expressed uh, as shown absorption of buyers. So how we can use these informations as possible inflection point as possible reaction points to be validated on the pullback of those line. So uh, this is a dynamic reading of the order flow given by the indicator. So very easy to, to spot on the chart, very easy to, uh, to be uh, remembered and very easy to be validated because we have the line being plotted on the chart. So all we can do is just check how the price behaves when it comes back over that line. And of course, if we know what that uh, order flow event they show, we know how to uh, make our decisions in terms of uh, trading the order flow, the underlying order flow. Okay, uh, so uh, I guess I've said everything. Uh, at least the the most the most important features of this uh, of this plugin indicator. Uh, of course, if you have some questions, feel free to ask me uh, here or otherwise at my email address. Let me just. Uh, write down for you in the public chat um, the link you can you can go if you want to uh, have either a trial of the uh, Volsys platform you can email info at volumetrica trading.com or otherwise if you are a Tecno customer already you can uh, have the policies platform for uh, for a special price going at volumetricatrading.com slash it slash policies uh, dash technical okay uh, that's all for today we still have two uh, two two appointments with our webinars uh from next time on we will be talking about the footprint chart and uh, we will go on with the order flow concepts we have uh, already talked a little bit already today okay that's all uh thank you so much for your attention i wish you a good evening and a good trading